Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. How, hi, how is everybody? Are you all okay? Um, I am. Um, I'm good, thank you. Um, it's a nice uh, sunny day um, at the moment. Um, I think it is supposed to rain um tomorrow but it's been a nice sunny day better than the other days um here in the midlands where it's been raining um but today i'm going to be doing a budget travel special uh february 2022 part three and um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please uh, subscribe to my uh, channel and uh, jo join my uh, fabulous uh, squad or subscribers rest of subscribers i'd be really grateful and thank you if you do and um, press the subscribe button and um, so i'm going to jump right into it now elf.com um, is basically saying how to travel on a budget exploring exotic places um, that basically don't cost a fortune and you will certainly uh, do not need to win the lottery uh, to travel the world and um, not if you watch again how much you spend while you're traveling so um, I thought this would be an interesting um, article and also different facts um, on my budget travel special. So number one, um, come up with a plan uh, before you travel. Travelling spontaneously is great um, if you've got um, the luxury of time and money to spare. But um, if you're travelling on a budget, the first thing you need to do is come up with a, a plan. Uh, um, you don't need uh, basically a, a tight hour by hour itinerary, but uh, you should um, at least have a, an idea how long uh, you'll be spending in each city or country or destination and um, basically know the route um, that your epic adventure um, basically know the route that you're going to be taking because that can also save you money as well and um, leaving less uh, to chance means less unexpected spends at uh, last minute flights and accommodation are often um more expensive in the long run and there's also less availability and obviously if there's less availability then uh, basically it's going to cost you more in the, the long run because um more expensive accommodation is um basically um it's going to have uh, free spots but if you're booking at the last one it, it's likely to be more expensive and you'd have to choose the more expensive accommodation and um, which again is not really good for your budget because you can't really plan what you're going to um, be able to spend on holiday or um, if you're traveling etc plus um, if you do a block booking sometimes uh, you can save um, with hotels and probably other accommodation as well and um, if you're going for so many days so um i would definitely say book in advance and especially if you're traveling on your own then 
its single rooms are going to be less available as well and um, because obviously it cheaper or the best uh, how would would I put it the best value accommodation uh, for money is likely to go uh, really quick also amongst travellers and ho holiday makers alike and um, number two uh, pack properly make sure you uh, pack everything that you need so you don't have to shop while you're away apart from a few souvenirs etc and uh, no matter where you um, head off to um, No matter where you head off to, at least take one pair of long jeans, um, a warm hoodie and waterproof jacket uh, just for unpredictable weather incident, incident. So, I mean, when I've been to America, all, the, all of a sudden um, it can be sunny and all of a sudden it could just pour down in rain with rain just like that and the same with other countries um i've been to spain and we've had rain um it, even in the summer um like late june july so i mean it can be unpredictable so it's just wise to uh, take some jeans and say a warm hoodie and a waterproof jacket um, because if you do get wet um, again they're going to be um, also more practical with the fact that they're easier to dry off and they're also lighter than taking um, say really big thick coats for, um, for instance. Um, again, for some more in-depth advice, check out Travel Like a Pro Guide uh, for packing for every kind of trip. Uh, for some more advice on what you, what you need. Personally, if you take as much as what you need, then it again, it saves you having to buy unexpected items um, for, uh, from a, a shop or supermarket and um, that otherwise otherwise you could have taken in advance um, number three embrace public transport if you can buses and trains are cheaper than planes it's as simple as that a journey on an overnight train also means at one last night in a hostel or any other accommodation to pay for again you can look at it that way and um, number four um do not eat away your cash um, cheap lunches can be brought um, in supermarkets or even the local fresh food on a market rather than an overpriced cafe or restaurant. Aim to wander around um, before choosing a place to eat, um, dinner too. And if you just pick the first restaurant or cafe you see, and uh, then you won't know whether you're overspending or not. Drinking beer uh, with dinner soon adds up, uh, so it's cheaper and better for your health to have water instead. Alternatively, hostels and other uh, self-catering accommodations uh, like spare rooms, uh, self-catering accommodation such as apartments um often um you have access uh, to a kitchen whether it's in your room or apartment or 
in, ge in general if you uh, want to save a little more money by cooking for yourself and last but not least um, while you travel working um, holidays um, are one brilliant way to afford uh, to spend um, that bit more on in a month on holiday or in a year or more uh, living the travel dream uh, you can uh, teach on a winter season take care of holiday makers like a resort representative or travel guide um traveling to the mediterranean in the summer or um earn by teaching a language in thailand and that's what my cousin at uh, Dominic uh, did. He taught English in Thailand uh, while he was traveling. Uh, you could also even freelance uh, while you're traveling if you're able to work on the go, that is. Um, opportunities are literally endless um, while you're traveling for um, earning money, extra money ab abroad, uh, getting, say, a temporary job, etc etc so so i would like to say thank you for watching and i uh, hope that you have a nice day and night wherever you are in the world don't forget to stick around uh, for tomorrow's vlog which is improvements updates and more so i would like to say uh, to you um, have a nice day and night and thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.